let's get settled. So we are going to start on our mat for the moment, seated, and then we will rise to standing. And um, so we'll have our introduction here. Let's take a few moments. Come into your comfortable Sukhasan. Legs crossed. Grounding down through your sit bones. Perhaps you are raised slightly by sitting on a block or your blanket. Lengthen through your spine. And to help roll your shoulders up towards your ears and then slide them down and away. Let's do that three times just to begin to lengthen and open our spine. And then lift your crown to the sky, chin parallel to the earth. For today's mudra, we're connecting with the element of earth, Prithvi, today's Earth Day. So remember that each of our fingers are connected to a different element. The thumb is fire, index air, middle is ether, ring is earth, and little finger is water. So today we can bring our ring finger and thumb to touch. And this is the Prithvi Mudra. Hands can be face up or face down, depending on whether you want grounding or slight uplifting in your mood today. Eyes softly closed or gazing down towards the earth. Your shoulders are soft and relaxed. And take your awareness to your breath. In these first few moments of arriving on your mat, arriving here in this class, Let's take this opportunity to settle both our breath, our body, and our minds. Notice the pattern of your breath, the natural rhythm of your breath, the ebb and flow, the rise and fall, the in and out of your breath here. Without trying to change your breath, simply noticing and bearing witness to your breath. The breath is the bridge between your mind and your body. And notice the pace of your breath, the rate at which you breathe. Is it fast, irregular, erratic? Or is it slow and steady? Observe the depth of your breath, the place from which you breathe. Are you breathing from your upper chest, lower down at your ribs? Or do you have a sense that you're breathing from your belly? Notice the length of this breath. Notice how the in-breath and the out-breath are in relation to one another. Notice the places where your breath pauses momentarily at the top of your breath on the exhale at the bottom of your breath on the inhale. And let's come into stillness here. Today's practice is connected to the element of earth. The qualities of earth are grounding, rooting, stability, security, Safety. Earth is a place that nourishes and holds us safe. Gives us foundation, our connection to our history, our family, our ancestry. And when we feel safe and secure, we are then able to grow and develop and fulfill our potential. When we feel scatty or uneasy, anxious, irritable, worried, those airy feelings up here, quality of earth brings us down and steadies us. Notice how your breath has already begun to slow down and deepen in these first few moments. 
I invite you all to bring your hands together at your heart center in Namaskar. We're going to open our practice by chanting Om, the primordial vibration. Inhale fully through your nose. Exhale completely out through open mouth. Inhale to prepare. Oh. Inhale. Oh. Inhale. Oh. Allow the vibration to wash over you and bring your hands to your eyebrow center in Namaste. Namaste and welcome to everyone. Thank you for joining me today on a very special day. Um, you know we've been working with the elements over the last few weeks. We work with Agni, Surya, the sun salutation, Last week we were working with Jal, water element, and this week by wonderful serendipity, we are working with the earth element on Earth Day. So today is a day of bringing our awareness and caring about our planet, Mother Earth, that offers us everything that we need in its richness and abundance. So we have a duty of care to this planet by our own social responsibilities. So I invite you to think about how you care for your little place on this earth, your home, your family, your garden, your community. Let's take a moment here. Remember the mudra today is Prithvi mudra, thumb and in a little ring finger touching. You can bring this mudra throughout your asana practice. So whenever you move into a pose or out of a pose, you rise up, you can have this mudra. Another mudra we're working with is Chatura mudra. And this is an earth mudra as well. So this is when we hold our palms face down. We bring our thumb and fold it into the palm to the base of our ring, thing, ring finger. We lift our little finger up to the sky. So I'm gonna come close so you can see. So your three middle fingers, index, middle and ring are extended. Little finger is lifted up to the sky and thumb is touching the base of your ring finger. So depending on how much movement or flexibility you have in your hands, your ring finger, will, little finger will be vertical or just yet a diagonal. And so when we move today, when we come down to the earth, you can also bring this mudra, Chadura mudra, to the earth. Now we're going to start by standing in our earth salutation. What I invite you to have ready for your practice today because we are going to come into Virasana, um, that's this pose, or with our toes tucked, toe squat. If your knees need extra padding, have your blanket ready to place underneath your knees. If it feels really uncomfortable to sit like this, you could always put a cushion underneath your sit bones, or you can put a cushion underneath your ankles, on the inside of your ankles, so that you're supported on the inside of your ankles. So have your cushion or your blankets at hand and have your footstool or your blocks at hand. We'll reach for those during our practice. Um, or a book, a very heavy book. So come into the middle of your mat to start with and then we'll go to the top of our mat. Come into your standing mountain, Tadasan. So your Foot alignment can be feet parallel, looking like number 11s, with your toes pointing forward. Or you can have your big toes touching and your ankles apart, your heels apart. Find the variation that works for you. Bring your hands together, press your palms, coming into Namaskar. Let's take a moment here in our standing mountain. So I'll hold both stances so you can see which one you need for your sense of connection with the earth. Let's lift up your toes and place them on the earth one by one. 
so that you really connect through the soles of your feet with the earth below. Bend into your knees and press down into the earth, rooting, and then inhale to rise from here. Let's take a moment. Perhaps you gaze to the horizon, your drishti, your focal point is parallel to your vision. Maybe you close your eyes softly if your balance isn't too challenged there. One breath here. We're going to use a square breath today. In your mind's eye, visualize a square. Square is connected to the Muladhar chakra down here at the base of our spine, at our root. As you inhale, draw the breath up one side of the square. Pause and have that pause along the other side of the square. As you exhale, go down the third side of your square. Pause there. This is the bottom side of your square, the fourth side. So we're going to follow this shape of a square with our breath. So inhaling up, holding the breath, exhaling down, holding the breath, cross, inhaling up. So we're going to use our breath and guide it around this square. The square symbolizes the earth. I know the earth is a sphere. But in yogic philosophy, it's represented by square because it's solid, it's foundational. Inhaling one side, hold the breath momentarily, exhaling the other side, inhaling. Visualizing this movement around the square with your breath and the pauses. This is also called 16 second breath. We're going to add a count as we move round the square with our breath. Inhale for four, three, two, one. Hold the breath in, four, three, two, one. Exhale, four, three, two, one, hold the breath out, four, three, two, one. Inhale, four, three, two, one. Hold the breath in, four, three, two, one. Exhale, four, three, two, one. Hold the breath out, four, Three, two, one. Inhale, four, three, two, one. Hold the breath in, four, three, two, one. Exhale, four, three, two, one. Hold the breath out, four, three, two, one. Release this pattern and return to your natural rhythm. And if the breath and the count didn't quite synchronize or it felt too short or too long, in your own practice, you can adjust the count. You can have a pattern of three, 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 pattern of five, 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 six, 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 whatever works for you. Lengthen or shorten your breath and gradually you'll build up to a greater capacity to hold the breath in and out. Let's come to the top of our mats for our sun's, uh, earth salutations. Coming into your tadasan here, hands at your heart, gaze ahead, opening your palms so they face forward, inhale, lift your hands above your sky, above your head, gentle back bend here. You can have your mudra here, with Prithvi ring and thumb touching, or you can have your thumb at the base of your ring and little fingers pointing back. One breath here. As you exhale, with a gentle bend in your knees, fold forward, bringing your fingers down towards the earth. Now, if your hands connect with the earth, 
that's great. Otherwise, bring your hands to rest on your shins. Relax your head, neck and shoulders here in a forward fold. We're trying to connect our practice with the earth where we can today. Remember, you can also use a block or a footstool to bring the earth to you. One more breath here. Inhaling, bend into your knees softly, rise up with your palms above your crown, facing forward. Exhale, bring your palms together above your crown, down to your heart center. So we're going to repeat that three times. One more breath here at your heart center before you move. Hands together at your heart. Inhale, rise up with your palms facing forward. Gentle back bend. Exhale, hinge forward, bringing your fingertips down towards the earth or resting your hands on your shin. Inhale to rise up. Hands above your crown, palms facing forward. Exhale, palms together to your heart. Namaskar. Inhale, hands to the sky, palms facing forward, thumbs touching slightly. Gentle back bend. Exhale, fold forward, gentle bending your knees. Inhale to rise up, palms above your head, facing forward. Exhale, hands to your heart, adding on. I'm going to turn slightly so you can see me, but stay where you are. Hands at your heart. Let's open our arms out to the side, palms facing down. So you can bring this Chatura Mudra here. Inhale, sweep your arms above your crown. Bring your hands together like this above your crown, palms facing forward. Take a moment here, gentle back bend. Exhale to fold. Inhale to rise up. Exhale, float your arms down towards your sides, hands at your heart. One more time, hands start at your heart and open out your arms to the sides, reach up towards your crown, have your palms facing forward as you rise up, gentle back bend. Exhale, fold. Take a moment there and forward fold. Bending your knees, inhale to rise up, gentle back bend. Exhale, hands down to the sides and then float them to your heart center. Adding on, inhale, hands reach up. Exhale, forward fold. This time we're going to come directly onto our knees in Virasana. So remember, bring comfort to your knees or your ankles as required. Blanket underneath your knees, cushion or blanket rolled up underneath your ankles. Take a moment here. You're facing the top of your mat. I'm going to turn so you can see me. Hands at your heart. Take a moment here. Inhale, turn your palms out, reach up above your crown, gentle back bend here. So mind how you go here. Your back bend will only be as far as is comfortable for you. Engage your core by drawing in your navel. Exhale, fold forward, coming with your hands to the earth, followed by your eyebrow center. Inhale, rise up with your crown, your hands back up to the sky. Gentle back bend here. Exhale, hands to your heart. Adding on, we're going to draw our arms out to the side here in Virasana. Inhale, arms out to the side, parallel with your shoulders. Reach up and over your head. Palms facing forward, gentle back bend. Exhale, fold forward, hands to the earth, followed by your eyebrow center. Take a moment here in child's pose, Balasana. Inhale, engage your core, rise up with your hands above your head. Exhale, arms to the side, palms facing down, bringing your hands to the earth. Now option to stay here for the final round or tuck your toes so you come into a toe squat variation. 
Lengthen through your crown, hands at your heart. Take a moment here. Inhale, reach your hands above your crown, palms facing forward. Again, pull back, bend. Exhale, fold down towards the earth, hands followed by your crown if you have your toes tucked. Rabbit pose, Shantantasana. Or child's pose. Inhale, engage your core, rise up, palms above your crown, facing forward, gentle back bend. Exhale, hands to your heart. Final round, this time I'm going to take our arms out. Let's make sure everybody's on mute. Inhale, arms reach out to the side, palms face down. Inhale, hands above your crown, palms facing forward, gentle back bend. Exhale, fold forward, hands, eyebrows center to the earth. Take a moment here. One full breath. And then we're going to sit back on our heels, come onto our hip and swing our legs forward. So from your child's pose or your blessing sitting, coming onto your sit bones by swinging onto one hip. Let's bring the soles of our feet together in butterfly pose. Hands can be on your shins, lengthen your crown, lift your heart, gaze forward. One breath here, lengthening, reaching up towards the sky, rooting down through your sit bones, and then exhale, fold forward. Now your options for your hands are going to be underneath your shins so that your, you slide your hands underneath your lower legs and bring your hands to the earth or over the tops of your legs with your hands on the earth. So have a look at my options for you. You're either gonna take your arms underneath your lower legs and relax your crown or you're going to reach above your legs and relax your crown. So you're either going to be in a forward folded butterfly or a tortoise pose. Wherever you are, take a moment here to soften, connect deeply with the earth through your muladhara chakra. So this is the tail, your, the base of your spine, rooting into the earth. Feeling the solidity, how solid the earth is below you. One breath here. Inhale, lift your gaze. Walk your hands back towards your body, whichever variation you're in. Let's bring our knees together with helping hands. I'm going to extend our legs long, coming into the thus and staff pose. Reach up with your crown towards the sky. Flex your toes so they point up towards the sky. Your legs are extended, have a soft bend in your knees. Your hands are connected with the earth next to your hips. Relax and soften through your shoulders, lifting your crown, opening across your heart. Just one moment here in the lesson. Become aware of your breath. And connect with those feelings that are invited in through the Muladhara Chakra, at the root. And visualize yourself as a rock or an oak tree or a mountain, something that is solid. One breath more. This is quite hard to sit here in the Dandasan. If you engage your core, and we're going to lower to the earth. So I invite you to bend your knees as you do this. You can reach forward with your hands, keep your core engaged and lower like this to the earth, or you can use your hands to support you as you come to the earth. And once you come down to the earth, lift up your sit bones and place your hands on the earth underneath your sit bones so that your hands are flat, your palms are flat on the earth, you're sitting, with your sit bones on the tops or the backs of your hands. 
Your elbows are slightly soft and relaxed out at the moment. Engage through your legs. So we're working with our lower legs here, lower body. Take a moment here. Inhale, engage your core by drawing your navel to the spine. Now your option will be either to bend your knees or inhale and lift your feet off the earth. So your feet might come just a little bit off the earth. They might come at a more, a bigger angle. Find the angle that works for you. So wherever you are, sometimes here is more difficult because you have to engage your core. Up here might feel a little more sustainable for you. Find the place that feels good for you here. So I'm just going to take my stones off here. One breath here, wherever you are with your feet elevated, your core is engaged, your chin is tucked so the back of your neck is long. Take a full breath here. Now, as you inhale on your next round, Open out your legs, creating a V-shape. So I'm going to turn to the camera so you can see what I'm doing. We're going to open our legs as if they're a pair of scissors. So you might open your legs quite wide, flex at the feet here so that your legs are engaged. Take a breath there then. On your inhale, in together. Exhale, open. Inhale together. Exhale, open one more time. Inhale together. Exhale, open. Take a moment there. So you should be feeling this in your core. Your core is engaged. One breath more. Inhale, legs together. Bend at your knees and have a little hug here. So release your hands to give yourself a little hug. Maybe you rock from side to side. And then let's bring your feet back to the earth, legs extended. Now this time, take your hands out from underneath your sit bones and have your arms alongside your body on the earth. So this is still part of our Prithvi Namaskar. So it's a very unusual salutation. So you'll remember the sun salutation and the moon salutations. This is much slower. There's more of the poses that are done directly on the earth. It's part of this pranam or prayer to the earth. Now, protecting your lower back. So you will either have a little bend in your knees as you lift your legs up into Vipariti Karan. Or you will rise by engaging your core with your feet. Legs extended here. Keep the aim here is to have a right angle. Flex your feet so that your toes are pointing over the top of your head. So your toes are pointing that way. Take a moment here. We're going to lift with our head. So engage your core. We're going to lift with our head and reach our fingers towards our toes. Now your fingers may be all the way down here, maybe there if you can touch your toes wrap your peace fingers around your toes wherever you are we're just reaching towards our root towards the soles of our feet your core is engaged here lift with your crown lift with your head one more breath exhaling fold in your knees give yourself a little hug little rock from side to side just to relieve it. In our usual some, uh, earth salutation, we would just move directly. But seeing as this is the first time we're practicing this together, we're going to take these little breaks in between. One more breath. Now we're going to come back into Virasan. So you either roll onto your side or you rock up and down your spine. So I'm just going to check where my dogs are. And then rocking backwards and forwards, come up onto a seat here, or you're rising here from sleeping Krishna and coming into your seat this way. Swing your legs around, come onto your shins for a moment, 
Let's take a moment here. Now we're all going to move into a squat together. So this is where your support is going to be helpful. We're either going to come onto our toes or our feet. We're going to take our feet as wide as they can go with our toes pointing the same direction as our knees. Or we're going to reach for our support and we're going to sit on our support. So if you're sitting on your support, bring your hands in prayer at your heart. This is Malasana. Called Yogi Squat. You use your elbows on the inside of your knees to open up through your hips. We're really connecting here with this space between our body, our root chakra, Muladhar chakra, and the earth. Let's take a full breath here. I know this feels challenging. We're working with earth element, the places of our body, the element within our body that connects us directly to the mother earth. One more breath. With helping hands, place your palms on the earth for a moment. Gaze down towards the earth. Give gratitude and thanks for this earth. For your home, your family, your ancestors, your land. Take a moment here. And then inhale, pressing into the earth. Rise up with your sit bone so that you are now coming into a wide-legged stance. Your fingertips are either on the earth or on your blocks or your stool. Use any props you need here to have your hands on your props. Take a moment here. And inhale, bending into your knees. Let's reach up with our palms facing forward. Gentle back bend. Exhale, hands to your heart. We're going to bring our feet together so you can either heel toe like this or you can jump to the middle. Back in standing mountain, come to the top of your mat. Adding on here, take a moment. Inhale, hands reach up above your crown, palms facing forward. Gentle back bend. Exhale to fall down towards the earth. Inhale, bend into your knees to rise up, palms facing forward. Gentle back bend. Exhale, hands to your heart. Let's take our arms out this time. I'm going to move to show you. Inhale, sweep your arms out, palms facing forward. Above your crown, palms facing forward. Exhale, fold. Take a moment here. Bend into your knees, come into a crouch here on the floor. Now you're either going to step back or jump back into plank. Now, if you're stepping back, you just reach back with one leg, then the other. If you're going to jump, press into your palms, connect with the earth, tuck your, have your toes tucked here, and then inhale and jump back with your legs extended behind you. Here you are in plank. Bring your knees to the earth to come into a plank, half plank if you need the extra support here or you're in plank. Take a moment here. Engage your core. Push back out through the backs of your heels. Draw your navel to your spine. One breath here. Exhaling. Knees chest, chin to the earth, ashtang. Now from here, we're going to stay here for a moment. If this does not feel very comfortable for you, you have the option of sliding your knees away and bringing your abdomen to the earth. Your hands are next to your shoulders. So you're either with your abdomen on the earth and legs fully connected with the earth, or you're in ashtang with your tailbone lifted, toes tucked chin and heart on the earth. From here, we're going to move into locust pose. So inhaling, lift your right leg off the earth and reach the heel up into the sky behind you. 
take a peek at me wherever you are. So you'll either be an Ashtang variation of Salabhasan or you'll be in this variation with your abdomen on the earth. Take a full breath here. Exhale, let's all bring our right leg to the earth. Take a moment, extend your legs, turn onto your right ear, take your arms alongside your body, rest for a moment in locust. One more full breath here. And then let's go to the other side. So inhale, lift your head back to center. Your head is slightly lifted off the ground here because your chin is on the earth and your heart. Lift your tailbone, come onto your knees here in Ashtang, or you can have your body fully connected with the earth. Find the variation that works for you. If you're in Ashtang, tuck your toes and then lift your left leg off the earth. Flex your foot. Take a peek at me if you need. One breath here. Or you could have your whole body connected with the earth and your left leg is lifted here. This gives you more support and particularly protects your lower back. One more breath. Wherever you are, exhale lower. Turn onto your left ear. Take your arms alongside your body, palms face up. Rest for a moment there. Notice how your breath has changed. My breath has changed a lot. One more breath here. And we're going to rise into Cobra Bhujangasan. So press into your big toes. Your feet can be as wide as the mat or toes close together. Hands either side of your shoulders. Fingers spread wide. Tuck your elbows into your sides. Inhale, lift up with your crown, your gaze, your heart, your hair, your uh, cobra. Lifting your heart so that it's shining forward. Press it into your pelvis so it's connected with the earth. One more breath here. Exhale, lower. Inhale, rise up, crown gaze heart perhaps you come up a little higher this time keep your elbows tucked in one more breath exhale to lower i know it's hard to feel grateful for the earth here when you're working this hard but know that the earth is holding you and helping you rest in between your poses inhale press into your hands final bhujangasana Lift with your crown, your dristi, your heart, tuck in your elbows, press into your pelvic area so that you're connected with the earth. One more breath here, press into your hands, come into table, tuck your toes, rise in mountain, nearly there. And this whole sequence is a Prithvi Namaskar, so it's quite a long sequence compared to the sun salutations. And it's much slower and much more challenging. It's about building strength in our muscles because it's connected to the qualities of being dense or having a mass. This is why this practice works much slower. We're going to walk to the top of our mat. So you either walk or you jump to the top of your mat. So take a full breath here and come to the front of your mat in a forward fold. Doesn't matter how you get there or how long it takes or how quick it takes. Have your fingertips connected with the earth or on your shins. Inhale, bend into your knees, rise up with your palms facing forward, gentle back bend. Exhale, hands to your heart. Take a moment, gather your breath. Visualize the square, breathe around this square and add that count, silent count, the 16 second breath. Hands at your heart. Now I'm going to invite you all to turn to the front so you're facing me. We're going to be horizontal on our mats. Come to the middle of your mat. 
Connect with your breath. Four, three, two, one. Hold the breath. Four, three, two, one. Release the breath. Four, three, two, one. Hold the breath out. Four, three, two, one. And you'll notice how your breath has steadied just by adding the image of a square or count of 16. One breath here. Inhale, draw your arms out, palms face down, parallel to your shoulders. Now extend your middle fingers, bring your thumb in to the base of your ring finger and lift your little finger to the sky. It's a very subtle movement. You might not be able to see me doing it. That Garuda, um, sorry, Chatura Mudra that we talked about earlier. Take a moment here. Inhale, draw your hands above your crown, palms face forward. Exhale, hands to your heart. Adding on, inhale, draw your arms out, reach up above your crown. Exhale, hands to your heart. One more time, inhale, really reach out through your fingers. You're expansive, you're taking up the space of the earth here. Then reach above your crown as if you're circling. Exhale, hands to your heart. Take a moment here. Now we're going to step out with our legs so that we come into this wide-legged stance, toes pointing forward so that the weight is being shifted to the outer edges of your feet, hands together at your heart. Maybe have a soft bend in your knees, zip up through your midline, so really connect with your um, mat, those bands, those energy locks, mula band, udhyana, at your core here. Inhale, reach out. Here we are in Tadasana. Inhale, hands to the sky. From here, we're going to exhale, bend into our knees, turn our toes out, hands come to the heart in goddess pose. So we are, from here, we go like this by bending into our knees, hands come to the heart, Devi Asana. Now really sit down here. If you have a wall near you, you can always go back onto the wall and use the wall to support you here in goddess pose. Have your knees turning out, so your toes and knees are facing the same way. Sit down lower, your thighs will be feeling very solid here. Take a moment. Inhale, reach up with your palms, going through that motion. Exhaling, hands to your heart, reaching out. One more cycle here. Exhaling to draw your arms out. Inhale to reach up. Exhale back to your heart center. One more breath out. Reach up. Straighten through your legs. And exhaling, reach forward, hinging as far as you can go. And then exhale, fingertips either down to the earth or onto your support. So I'm going to reach for my footstool. So you can see that my hands can rest on my footstool. Relax your head, neck, and shoulders. One breath here in forward fold. Prasarita Padutanasana. Wide-legged forward fold. From here, we're going to add on. So your hands are either on your stool or they're on the earth. Inhale, press into your right hand and lift your left fingertips up to the sky, coming into this side opening here with your arms. Look up to gaze towards the sky or gaze down towards the earth. Yogi's choice. Exhaling, bring your left hand to the earth. Inhaling, right hand to the sky. So have a soft bend here in your knees. Avoid locking out your knees. You might have a deep bend in your knees. Exhale, right hand to the earth. Inhale, left hand to the sky. Really open across your heart as if you're spiraling your heart to the sky. Feel connected and rooted through your feet. Exhale, left hand to the earth. 
Inhale, right hand to the sky. Last time here. One more breath. Exhale, hands to the earth. Now, wherever you are, whether your legs are more straight or they're more deeply bent, I want you to lift your hands and take them and place them on your lower back. So your hands are on your lower back. We're going to interlace our fingers here. Now, if interlacing your fingers feels really challenging in this yoga mudra, what we're going to do is take hold of obviously elbows or just keep a very loose clasp of our hands here at our lower back or perhaps leave our hands on our lower back altogether. Yogi's choice. So I'm going to face you. One breath here. Now, if your hands are in a yoga mudra, as you draw your crown towards the earth, lift with your hands up towards the sky. So you might have a loose grasp here, or you might just reach up with your hands, or they could stay resting on your lower back. So three different variations with your hands resting on your lower back, your yoga mudra reaching overhead, your arms open and reaching behind you. Engage your core, so feel as if you're hollow here at the core. Your crown is reaching down. One more breath here in this forward fold with your yoga mudra. Exhaling, bend into your knees. Bring your hands back to your lower back. Lift your crown slightly so that it reaches forward. We're not coming up, we're staying in a forward fold, but we're parallel to the earth now. Take a moment here, release your hands to the earth, soften through your neck, your shoulders, let's sway from our hips so we bend into one knee then the other. This will help just create a little bit of movement because you might be feeling very tense if you've been uh, hugging your muscles in towards your bones. We're going to go back there one more time. So let's bend into our knees, everybody bending deeply into their knees this time. Reach back behind your back. Hands either stay on your lower back. You interlace your fingers in a yoga mudra. Inhale, lift your hands, lower your crown towards the earth here. So this is a variation of Devi Asana. You feel a very intense uh, connection to your legs. Your thighs are working hard. Your crown is lowering towards the earth. Your hands are reaching up to the sky behind you or still resting on your lower back. One more breath here. Inhale, straighten through your legs. Engage your core. Reach with your crown forward, with your heart, with your gaze, coming up. Exhale, release your hands. Arms go out to the side. Bring them into your heart. Take a moment there. Maybe sort out your hair, sort out your clothing. Take a breath here. Now you're here with your wide leg. We're going to keep for one more moment. Bend into your knees. So your legs could be quite wide. They could be a bit closer together. Fine variation that works for you here. So goddess pose. Reach forward with your arms so your hands are parallel. Come into your chatura mudra. So take your thumb to your base of your ring finger. Stick out your little fingers. Arms parallel, really sit down here. So I'll do sideways so you can see the mat is very slippery. From here, sink down even lower. Take a moment, you're working hard here. One more breath, inhale, reach up. Exhale, hands to your heart. Now you either jump your feet together or you heel toe, heel toe them together, whatever works for you. Take a moment, shake it out. We're coming down to the earth in a moment, but before we do that, we're going to do tree pose vrikshasana. So this is um, most symbolic sometimes of the earth, are trees, woods, forests. They are so vital to life. So visualize yourself as a tree perhaps a grand oak tree. I want you to connect through your feet with the earth. So come into your standing mountain. Lift your toes, 
place them one by one on the earth. Bend into your knees. Inhale, rise up. Hands can be at your heart or on your hips. Now you can have help of props here. So I'll give you various options for your tree pose, Brikshasana. Shift your weight into your right leg. And as you do that, you bend, you do that and you bend into your right knee. Peel off the heel of your left foot from the earth. Now turn your left knee out and bring the heel of your foot to your right ankle. This could be variation one. Or you can bring the sole of your foot to the side of your lower calf here. This is variation two. If you are happy here, you can also, with helping hands, bring your sole of your foot and tuck it here in at your groin so that your whole foot is pressed against your right thigh. So you could be in one of three places. You can also use your prop to help you here. So depending on how your stability and balance is, you can use a prop rest your foot in your prop. The main aim is to turn that knee out and really shift the weight into our right leg. Some of you have been in tree for a while, stay there. So I'm going to come into this variation for this round. So if your hands are at your heart, I'm going to invite you to open up. So take your thumb to your ring finger in Prithvi Mudra and open up your arms, reach above, engage your core here, smile, open your heart, ground down through your right foot. If you're wearing slippery clothes, your foot might slip. Pressing the foot and thigh against each other helps the connection to become more solid more stable. Remember, you can also use the wall to help you. One more breath here. Inhale, lift up your heart. Gaze, smile. Exhale, hands to your heart or your hips. Lower your feet, shake it out. We're going to switch to the other side. So again, come into the variation that works for you. Remember, there might be a difference in the two sides. We're not all symmetrical. Sometimes our balance is better. Today, we have a new moon, so people's balance is going to feel affected by the new moon. Bend into your knees, root through your feet, shift the weight into your left leg by bending into that knee. Peel off your right foot off the earth. Rest your right heel on your left ankle maybe onto your block or, or whatever you're using here, if you want to use that. Maybe it's on the calf. Maybe it's tucked in up here. To so press your foot against your leg, if your foot is higher up. So I'm going to come into this variation on this side. Keep turning out your right knee. Inhale, hands to heart, if they're not already. Thumb and ring finger touching in Prithvi Mudra. Reach up, engage your core, feel connected with the earth here. One more breath. Inhale, lift your arms, lift your gaze, lift your smile, lift your heart. Exhale, hands to your heart, to your hips. Shake it out, give a wiggle. We're coming to the earth. We're not going to go there directly. That would be too easy. So let's take a little malasana or yogi squat. So remember, you can use your props to help you. Turn your toes out, bend into your knees, come down into your squat, sit on your blocks or your footstool. Take a moment here. Hands to the earth. Come onto your knees and onto your sides. So we're going to come directly to the earth. So extend your legs, extend your 
body along the mat. Shuffle around, tuck your chin in slightly. So, probably can't see me because my dog's right in front of me. I'll just turn around, that'd be easier. From here, we're gonna hug in our right knee to our heart. Hug it in as, as much as you can. Lift your eyebrow center to bring it to your right knee. And then exhale, lower. Take your right arm out to the side. And with the back of your, with your left hand on the side of your right knee, cross your knee over your leg. So you come into a side twist here. Supta Matsyandrasan. Take your gaze to your right hand. So your knee is bent here. If I'll, I'll show you on this side so you can see what it looks like. That's what it looks like. And your gaze is going in the opposite direction. So you might be on the side of your left hip. Try and maintain a connection between your right shoulder and the earth. Gaze towards your right hand. Breathe deeply. Reflect on the qualities that bring sense of safety, stability and security to you. What is it in your life that makes you feel more safe, more secure? Or who is it in your life? Your family, your friends. One more breath here. Inhale, turn your head to center and rotate your body back to center. Hug in your right knee one more time. Extend your leg long, flex your toes, push through your heel just for a moment here. And then exhale, lower the right leg to the earth. Inhale, bring in your left knee, give it a little hug. Perhaps you bring up your eyebrow center to meet your knee. Lower your head. Take your right hand to the outside of your left knee. Extend your left arm out to the side. And then as you exhale, roll onto your right hip to bring your left foot towards the earth. You can gaze towards your left hand. It's a deep twist here. Sutta Matsyandrasana. Breathe into your abdomen, breathe into your root. Notice the pattern of your breathing. Notice how quickly your breath returns to a steady, calm breath. When you bring your awareness to it. One more breath here. Inhaling. Turn your gaze to center, followed by your body. Hug that left knee in. And then let's lift that left foot up to the sky. Flex through that foot. And then lower that left leg down towards the earth. And let's take a few moments here in Shavasan. Arms relaxed, legs relaxed. Allow your gaze, to clo eyes to close. Know that your body is held and supported by the earth here. Three more breaths here. You 
Know that the earth nurtures you, protects you and provides for you. Inhaling, stretch out through your arms and legs. Connect with the earth below you as you reach out and take up the space that is yours. Inhaling, curl into a little ball, hug your knees in. And then let's open up by rolling onto our side, whichever side works for you. Rest there for a moment before pressing into your hands and then rising up with helping hands into a comfortable sukhasan, your comfortable seat. Remember, you can support yourself with your cushion or a blanket or your block. And let's bring our hands into Prithvi Mutra by thumb and ring finger touching. Palms face up or face down. Going to close our practice. And before we close our practice, I'm going to chant our mantra today. Om Prithvi Ye Namaha. I am connected to the earth. I am solid, safe secure. I have strong foundations here. It's connecting us to the, the sound of the earth. Inhale fully. Exhale completely. Inhale to prepare. Om Prithviye Namaha. Om Prithviye Namaha Om Prithviye Namaha Om Shanti 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 Tanyava and thank you everyone for joining me in my practice today. So our Prithvi Namaskar or Bhumi Namaskar practice. Don't forget to go onto YouTube and subscribe. I've done something really clever. I've uploaded some of our videos onto YouTube. So the water element classes are uploaded. I'll upload this one. Um, the next, so it's new moon tonight at 3.30 technically tomorrow morning um, and I'm going to record a gong bath in yoga nidra tonight and then I'm going to share it with you tomorrow evening 